Because your first damage item has to be strong enough so then if you build your tank mythic. If you build your tank in effect, that you deal enough damage still. While you're building tank opponents, and I think immune could be actually pretty good for that. <laughs> Gotta try it. I don't even know why I have Conqueror. It's not even bad, this game, to be honest. I don't mind Conqueror. I don't mind GTA. I think they're, like, way more leveled with Lethal Tempo now. Than, like, Lethal Tempo got nerfed. And I mean, all of them got nerfed in a sense, I guess, but... I'm gonna go green pet here. Green pet, because they're all melee, and honestly, the blue pet is not that crazy anymore. Gwen jungle. Gwen jungle usually just pops off when she gets, like, a couple of items. Two items. She's really strong. Nasha's too, she's, like, semi-strong too, of course, but, like... Just from, like, uh... Jungle carry perspective. Yeah. Alright. I'm probably just gonna gank bot then. Is my chat even activated? Something is sus. There we go. I don't want to get the crab unless they get engaged on. It's really good because I get some stacks on my super stance. Yeah, this is bad actually. Why did she wall me off though? Okay, since we are rushing view in this game, I'm not gonna... Do I get tier early? I don't know. Radiant Virtue and Joyous. Right. Yeah, okay. I would say if you if you rush me, there's no need to get tier early. Because you stack it so shittily. 
Strike a target with an ability to consume a charge. And for some reason on Udi, that's like coded in like a really shitty way. A really, really shitty way. Like your Q auto attack doesn't count as an ability strike or like there is something like where you like fully stack, you get like a full a full stack of a uh, tier and then there's like kind of like a scuffed stack if I remember correctly. It's a bit weird this item. And then also like obviously we don't hit like champions a lot, which is fine, to be honest, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad that I didn't go bot side then. I'm glad that bot then didn't die. Probably smite at that. That's actually an insane component, but you can't reliably get this first back. Honestly. I guess your usual back would be two long swords, which is pretty good, pretty standard. I'm paying this just so like people know that we are on dragon. Because people are fucking sleeping even in this zero. When should be bot side. Yeah, got it though. Ooh, that must sting, brother. Thing is, Gwen is kind of not allowed to have a bad early game. In a sense, because like now she's just gonna get. Uh, or behind to too far for her to like scale up. The only way she can scale up now is just by hitting late game because her team is stronger. Her blue buff is up. She might check this. I don't think she she has reached to cancel me. Cringe. All right, then I'm just gonna stay on the map. We have like one more clear, and then we get Mune. Kind of interesting to go mune first item, I'm not gonna lie. In a sense, it kind of like simplifies building the item because you don't have to build the mana components uh, immediately. Because mune lets you stack the item faster, so it's still like probably you're gonna get the fully stacked mune around the same time. I actually also wonder how much AD you will get from this item if you build it first. I would say 50. I would say 50, probably. I'm instantly gonna go back though when I finish this clear. I kind of want to not buy lens anymore. I feel like it's kind of a bad purchase on Odia. Like you have way better objective control as Odia if you just have green ward and drop like a ward on objectives. And since your ganks are kind of shitty anyways, like lens is not like gonna... Like there's not gonna be a lot of situations where you can even use lens on Odia. I'm just gonna go back. I died way too often. With like too much gold uh, in my pocket. So that's good. It's so weird to get it so early, but it is a cheap item. So right now we get... Wait, we get 60 AD. We get 60 AD from this. First purchase. <laughs> that's actually... Bro, that is actually insane. No stacks. First purchase, 60 AD straight up.
And like now you see like every auto attack gives us like a full stack now. Which means that we are gonna stack this up way faster now. And now we're gonna go Gauntlet. I wanna test the AP theory if that's like maybe just the way to play Udi in general. So she is sticking around bot side. This is good for me because I'm also hitting stuff. Like just invading. There's like a cooldown on this. You can have four charges. That's also like something that's really good if you're like building this because I think tier can only no tier can have four too, never mind. But tier can only have three. Questions, could I just kill her here? If I had super stance, then yeah. Okay, we're just gonna bounce. We had position, I don't wanna die. This is so C for her. I'm gonna go to my chickens in case she just like trying to yoink that. Because like, if I go to my crux and she's like, damn, I have nothing on the map then. I tried to warn him. Like I knew she has nothing to farm, so she's just gonna walk there. There's probably nothing we can do though. Here's no stacks. And we can get the turret. I'm just gonna drop this and go back. Not worth to walk to Crux for this. Get this, get this, since we are building into Gauntlet. Gauntlet is the kind of only tank item you can build on AD, in my opinion. Please tell me I'm on the right scene. I'm gonna get my passive up. I would love to fight that, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it's also better to like... Almost just build it early because like... Being, squi like being squishy for your first item is kind of okay because a lot of... Majority of champions are squishy for their first item. Right? But like being like giga squishy building your second item is kind of weird. But then I also don't like going gauntlet first item because I just feel like it doesn't do enough for like uh, for Q Max Udi. Like Q Max Udi you just need AD. <clears throat> and also oh like go coop guys if you're like don't go last stand it's actually so bad i don't know how i never realized that i always thought it is kind of bad but like it just doesn't work unless you're like a completely committed tank because like udia blows up so fast nowadays in my opinion Hoop is so much better for like what you want to do. You're like a bursting champion. Even if you go like heavy AP builds, you're a bursting champion. So it's like, when are you actually gonna be low in fighting unless you're like dedicated tank builds? Never. Already on 100 stacks, yeah. Well, well, well. This is kind of a stomp. I'm gonna push mid then.
I think I have the flash on her. Honestly. Good. Well, good thing is we both failed our flash. I was not in range for E and she was not in range for the escape. I wanna fight more, like, this game is kind of such a stomp now that, like, there's just gonna be, like, one fight where they just start the thing. Okay, we're just gonna do this, fuck it. Ah! Let me cook. Please don't have I need to experiment more. This seems really fucking good right now. What's up, Rocky? Took my cams probably, but they might have F this game. Unfortunately, there's a high chance that 18 is when I just FF if they continue to stomp that way. I'm doing good, man. The league break definitely served me well. Now we're going gauntlet, and I mean this game, ooh, I would say swifts, honestly. And then since we said we're gonna go full AD after then, I would say let's go this. Cooldown reduction is really important, we have 45 right now without blue buff, you kind of want to be at 50. 50 or even 45 is kind of like the point where like you can use a stance while having the active permanently. As you can see, this is like the sweet spot. I think this is has a huge potential to set up I have right now. I mean, it's minute 17, it's an absolute stun, right? So it's a little bit hard to tell. But I don't see how, like, I don't see the weakness of this build, really. What made you decide to go Ice 1? I want to test if, like, you can cook up a tank here AD build without like sacrificing your early game pretty much early mid game I went Mune first item so I have like a lot of AD and fighting stats which is fine because everybody's squishy first item and then I went into ice spawn and now I'm just gonna go full AD yeah I can't steal this there's like no point I can just hit this a bit like everybody's just gonna be here now. Well. I think she might have actually died from the second order attack, potentially with Coop. This this is so much better. Like I barely fight. If I had last stand this game, I would have literally zero damage on it right now. Pretty much. Ice one is good for slow. The damage reduction is what makes this item, honestly. This is like almost just like having more tank items, right? Because like you apply your um you apply your ten percent damage reduction on a target and then I mean that is almost just like having more tank items. Ten percent damage of all the damage they deal is way more than resistances can do. I think they're gonna FF, guys. I would have went Stride Breaker here, and if they had like champions that stack more armor, then I would go Black Cleaver. You can even go both. 
I think if you go a tank mythic, you are allowed to just go a lot of AD items. Tank mythics are usually better tank items than like having uh, more like multiple legendary tank items. I'm gonna go hard on side lane here. Drop this. Okay, if I want to the chin, they're doing Nash right now. Wow. She exhausted me as soon as I did Q2. Pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I have to say that she's a good play by Leona. Not gonna lie. That was just a very smart play by Leona. She ulted me. I had to flash the ult and then she exhausted me when I tried to burst um, Gwen with the Q2. Oh, You can literally build anything on Udi and it can work exactly. That's why you have to find which work, like builds that work optimal in certain situations. That is like where Udi's strength lies pretty much. And usually what I feel like is there's like an underla underlying um, meta for Udi. Like for me right now when it comes to Phoenix, I don't even think Phoenix tank is meta. I think Phoenix jack show into full AP is meta. And I think the same could go for like 80. Like you don't have to go Icebond to be honest. You don't have to go Icebond. You could totally go for like a different- you could go Blade instead of Mune. I just think Mune is cheaper and makes building like this way easier but you have like so many options. That was Gwen. I think if I'm not against Leona and Gwen, I just beat. Oh, uh, they're just gonna go mid then here. You know what? I'm just gonna sprint there too then. I think I can. I have permanent E up. I know this game's a little bit of a stun. I'm gonna experiment more with this. Oh, they're popping off. I wish I could have had like a better game to show this off. I'm gonna do like another game of this, but I think this is still like a really good like idea for the world. One thing that definitely changed in my opinion with the Udi rework is the fact that like building higher damage just feels better on Udi than building tank. And I think it's because of the way his damage applies now compared to before. Before your damage applied in a very clunky way, because you just had to keep keep on auto attacking. But now, like for neither of the stands, it's like you have to auto attack a lot to deal damage. Like for Q, you can just do your super stance Q and you deal a lot of damage. And then for um, Phoenix, I mean, you don't, you barely even have to auto attack to deal damage. So you apply damage just smarter, I think. I don't even know. I want to do this build again, though. 25 LP. This is sus, bro. All my accounts are kind of griefed. Let's see the stats. I mean, we didn't get to fight a lot. We didn't get to fight a lot. It's kind of a shame that this was such a stomp because I would have liked a more even fight, but I think like this still has potential. I'm not going to lie. GG.